So I got it off. Now I just need to peel off the part where my Cricut cut through a little bit. Which is not the end of the world, but quite annoying. Because I do not want to touch the vinyl, unless I absolutely have no choice. I really do not want to mess with its stickiness factor by putting finger grease or anything like that on it. So I'm going to finish this up and then we'll continue. Alright, so I got all of that off. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to, again, place it. Start in the middle. And kind of work your way out. A little bit at a time. This one might actually be a little better because it is, you know, separate instead of one big piece. As long as I make sure the letters are flat, if there's bubbles in the transfer tape off of the letters, that does not matter. And again, my little squeegee friend. Just focusing mainly on the letters, because that's... You know, in the brain, obviously. Those are the parts that I want to keep. Okay. And again, slow peel. And you just investigate, make sure you got everything nice and neat. Flatten out any spots or any bubbles that you may see. And we have just made two custom coffee mugs. Aren't they cute and funny? So, thanks for coming on this journey with me. I'm going to post one more quick video after this which will just be me showing the mugs up from a different angle.